Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be able to remember every single day of your life? To be able to remember, for example, what you were doing on the 24th of August in 2014? Well, <laughs> I've actually spent a lot of time thinking about this question and some of the implications that are associated with it. And this idea actually first came to me after I watched a medical documentary about a guy named Aurelian Heyman. Now, Heyman is this British guy, he's in his 20s, and what he can do is he can recall specific and verifiable details about almost every single day of his adult life. So you could give him any like nominal date and he'd be able to tell you exactly where he was and what he was doing and what day it was. And after watching this documentary, I was extremely fascinated by this guy, you know? And I was curious as to if something like this could be replicated artificially using spaced repetition programs that I happened to be using at the time to study for my medical school classes. So I decided to test out this idea using a program called Anki. And the way spaced repetition programs like Anki work is that they will present a piece of information to you, uh, usually in flashcard format, and if you get the flashcard right, the program will represent the same information to you after maybe 10 minutes. And then if you get it right again, then the program will feed it back to you in maybe an hour, and then maybe a day, and then several days, weeks, months, etc. And so a lot of medical students, including myself, use programs like Anki to memorize the vast amounts of information that we have to know for our classes, for boards, etc. And so what I started doing was Along with the medical flashcards that I was learning every day, I also made one more flashcard just about my day. So I included what day it was, where I went, and other verifiable details about my day. And essentially what I was doing it was I was creating a journal in flashcard format that I was committing to my long-term memory using these spaced repetition programs. And so I did this for about a month. Every single day, I made a flashcard about my day and what I did for a month. And after a month, I realized a couple things. And the first thing I realized was that a lot of my days were very similar. <laughs> I'd get up, I'd go to the library, and I'd study for several hours. I'd come back home. And the second thing I realized was that it was this similarity between the days that actually made them very, very difficult to remember and recall and differentiate. And it was actually days where I had meaningful interactions with other humans that were much more easy to remember, you know? <coughs> and so I kept asking myself, why? Why is it that, for example, I can't remember very well what I did on the 28th of September, where I woke up, went to the library, studied about six hours of renal pathology and physiology, went home, but I can very clearly remember that on the 30th of September, where I woke up, I went to the library, and studied for several hours as well. But I also met this woman named Lancy, who makes sandwiches at the gas station in front of our school, who's from Haiti and speaks Creole, and who's really impressed by my broken high school French, you know? <laughs> who has two kids who also want to be doctors someday. And so that kept ringing back in my head, you know, why is it that I can remember this day so much more clearly? And part of the reason why was because I had associated a significance and a meaning to that day. It made that day a lot more special. And as I conducted this experiment, I realized that the amount of these meaningful interactions that I was having with people also seemed to increase. The reason for this was because every time I had an interaction with someone, in the back of my head, I kind of knew, like, okay, I'm going to go home and make a flashcard about this. So I should make it a point not to mess this up. <laughs> and so. I associated almost an aspect of permanence to my actions. And so I was a lot more careful about my interactions with other people. And so by the end of the, the entire experiment, there was only one question that kept coming back. And that was, if you live a day that is forgettable, have you really lived that day at all? And to me, the answer was not really. Because it, clearly there were days where that, that were much more forgettable than others. And if I hadn't made it a point to make a flashcard about them, I would have forgotten them. And so I was almost having this existential crisis of sorts. You know, how many days of my life have I already forgotten? 
And so, <laughs> and so we as people, we as we, we strive to, we, we comply to this almost cubicle of life that, you know, we are born into this, this, this uh, societal cage that is beautified to a certain extent that we don't really realize until we take the time to stop and, and record exactly what we're doing each day. And we start to see that maybe we are doing the same things every single day. And so what started off is, is me trying to replicate what I saw in a medical documentary really turned into almost a tool and a mode of self-reflection on my own existence. And so the main takeaway from this talk should be to make it a point to not live like the day that I woke up and went to the library and studied six hours of renal physiology and pathology, but rather to live your day like the day I met the woman who makes sandwiches at the gas station in front of my school, who has two kids that also want to be doctors someday, who speaks Creole and is from Haiti, and who was really impressed by my broken high school French, to live every day like the day I met Lancey. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.